Yes, sir! What's going on, everybody? It's your boy, Jay Easy, a.k.a. Fresh from the Barbershop, BK the People's Champ, coming to you live with another episode. Uh, what the fuck? We in danger. How the fuck did they put me in a game when we already getting fucking destroyed, yo? This sucks. This sucks royally, and we will never be royals. It don't run it. Ooh, hip fire! Tell that bad boy in the corner to get from Ronya, cause we're dangerous. Whoa! You get caught up in it. Man, I came to hear. I actually had a topic today, man. I was gonna talk about. Um, well, hold on. Let me hide like a little bitch first. Talking about inspiration and, um, and how. How you kind of just. Your bit. What? And how you kind of just have to hope that things work out. Woo, two-piece, huh? Like that two-piece, huh? Uh, how you got to just kind of, with life, life is, life, I ain't going to lie, man. Life is, is not easy, dude. It's, it is rough. It's rough. It's rough on everybody, rough for everybody. And just like this fucking game, this shit is whack. I don't understand why they doing this to me. Why do they love putting you in games like this? But even when you get put in the game like this, man, you know you know what you gotta do, man. You gotta you gotta wipe your wipe that dirt off your shoulders. Assess the situation, meaning see who's in here, and then figure out is the way that I'm going currently going to work out. I feel like it is gonna work out, man. You know, like you can't just give up easily just because they put you in a shitty situation off the dick, right? And sometimes that's what we want to do, man. We want the instant, we want instant success so badly that instead of sticking with something, we just go ahead and and abandon it at the first sight of of first sign of failure. It ain't, sometimes it's not even the first sign of failure. Sometimes it's just the first sign of possible of of, of possible non-success, if that's even the word. Y'all understand what I'm trying to tell y'all? Like you know, if I. I'm going to take YouTube, for instance. Like, you know how some people, you put up videos like, okay, I'm going to do this. I'm going to work, and I'm going to try to build my channel up. Okay. Now, people start posting videos, and you're getting, you know, two, three views a video. Everybody starts out like that. You get 10, 15, 20, or whatever. Or, you know, you go out there working a job, and if you ain't the boss the first day, people get pissed off and want to leave. And the thing is, it's perseverance. Like, you know, you're going to get, like, when I first started, I ain't going to lie to you, I, I, I was getting... Five, ten views a video. I was happy if I got 30. And then I think I put up a nuke. I was in like 30, 40 views a video. I put up a nuke and uh when I was playing the um you shot the ball. What mode were we playing? We were playing Matt Damon mode and I got a nuke and I was just splattering people. I got like four hundred views off that. I thought I was on top of the world. I was like, damn, maybe I broke through. This is like my fifth or sixth video. When people think like, you know, do I wanna use this gun, man? You ain't be thinking like you're gonna break through that quickly, but a lot of times you're just not. You know, some people do some most most of us don't most of us don't ever break through but what you got to do is you just got to realize that sometimes what you're doing you know you got to do things in futility you know it's just like going to school going to school is something we learn oh nobody spawned back here you it's almost like going to school is a it seems like an exercise in futility at first but uh i got my pistol dance drop bitch it's like an exercise of futility at first, right? We're like, you know, everybody thinks that. So, why do we go to school? Why am I going to school? You know, why why do this? Why do that? This game, I'm not going to lie to y'all. It's My heart still starts pumping when I'm on a kill streak. And I don't know why. But uh, it's like, you know, why do we go? Oh, shit. Woo, get dropped. It's like, why do we go to school? Why do we learn all this stuff when... When truthfully, what's gonna happen is the fuck. When truthfully, you like, you know, I'm not gonna use any of this stuff, and it seems like an exercise in futility. But in in actuality, you go to school to learn that stuff, but you just don't know when you're gonna use it. So taking that as the example, woo, hot stuff coming in. I'm gonna need your gun, Playboy. Give me that silence, Galil. That being the case. What we normally do is wonder, okay, you know, am I ever going to get anywhere? Am I ever going to use this stuff? Am I ever going to learn? 
And then what happens is, eventually, it's like the stuff that you know, you don't even remember when or where you learned it, right? So you're just like, yo, I just know all this stuff. And you feel like a know-it-all. You, you end up kind of being a know-it-all. What the fuck, man? And then you get a little bitch-ass nigga like that that come along and take the job and, and ain't even fucking qualified for it. But then you just keep on going. You persevere. And you're just like, yo, I can, I can, I can figure this out. You know, I'm not going to allow things like that. I'm not going to allow things like that to bother me. I'm going I'm to figure this thing out. So you keep on going, and then you get what's called experience. Once you get your experience, man, nobody can't stop you, man. You can get, you can get, woo, get drop shot at, bitch, because you ain't rich. I will take this infield. I ain't got nothing but a red dot. I know he's going to come this way. Let me drop that right there. That shit watch my back. I hope they're not going to come up to here. Oh, shit! I, I don't know where this guy is, but you know, you get your little experience, and then you just, then you just keep on, man. And once you, once you get that experience, nobody can take that away from you. So it's just like, you know, you feel like you're on top of the world until somebody's little, uh, little kid get the job right there. Don't you know we got that hot stuff coming in, baby? Got that hot stuff coming in, yeah. Holy shit! Fuck! But you know, they might get it. And then, you know, your, your experience, like right there, my experience got me by right there. So, you know, because I, I just played this game so fucking much. I know that if you drop shots, you you completely, you damn near completely fucking, don't let me die! Why the fuck is the table behind me? Now, every now and then, somebody gonna get the better of you on some bullshit, because life just sets up stupid ass dumb shit like that for you. Why the fuck would there be a table right there behind me that I can't go past? That shit made no fucking sense. But hey, they laid it out there like that. But hey, look, you know, you got to you gotta continue on, undaunted. And you got to persevere, man. You got to be dauntless, man. You got to do what you got to do. You got to do what you got to do. You got, oh, shit. And then you got to say, hey, the next time I run into these motherfuckers, I will know exactly what to do. Somebody come up there, they're going to die like a motherfucker. It's going to blow the car up. You know, I know exactly what to do. And see, I knew, I knew what to do there. And like, I told you they're gonna blow the whole fucking car up. You can't get by that claymore. But uh, that's just how it goes, man. You can't be worried about... Another thing is, you can't worry about what other people are doing. You can't worry about how... How... I should not be right here! Run! Fuck! I was out of there! I, I should have not been right there. I should not have been right there. I knew I shouldn't have been right there. I knew I ain't had no fucking business being right there. And I still was right there. And I paid the price for it. But you know what? I learned. And that's the most important thing that I learned from that shit. You learn from it. You grow from it. And hopefully, you become a better person, man. And this this is Jay Easy's hip fire. Hip fire. Look at these. Look at these two fucking motherfuckers. In life, you do get some second chances. But the shit ain't like that. And I don't even know what the fuck they were doing. You get second chance in life. But uh, you know what? The best thing to do is just not, not to need that second chance, man, because I hate these motherfuckers that head glitch. You're going to get some people like that that head glitch and just try to damn take the fucking easy way out all the time. But just know that working hard, you know, you're going to get, you'll have more experience and you're going to be able to make it. Now, this has been Jay Easy's Lessons on Life. Y'all govern y'all selves accordingly. Because when this game, when that last game started, I could have easily just... Get your bitch ass off the ground! Fuck, nigga! The fuck is wrong with you? You out here trying to skate through life while I'm out here trying to get it! I'm out here trying to get it, you laying on your motherfucking belly ring, looking the other direction, hoping something happened. I'm out here going to get my edu education and damn, going out here and applying for these jobs, getting experience, working for damn near free, and I'm getting mine. That's what happens. And that's when you come back, you stomp their ass, you put foot the ass, boost the asses, foot on neck, and you shit on the whole room, and can't nobody stop you. Now you get out there today, and you go out there, and whatever the fuck you got to do, I don't care if you're damn, if you're a, a, a school teacher, if the kids don't want to sit down, you tell them sit there. Oh, no, don't do that, because if you do that to my kid, you tell them, you tell them today, Adam, today, not today, Adam, you will sit down today. You will not act out today. If you out there driving nails, you say I'm going to drive these nails the best that I fucking can until I can do better, damn it. 
Fuck what everybody say you can't do. Fuck them people that say you couldn't make the team. If you're trying not for the team, you say today is the day. You will not stand in my way. You cannot stop me today. Fuck, nigga. Now, if you if you made it this far, give me a oorah in the chat, man. You know, all my people in the military, you know, everybody. You know, if you made it this far, if you like Mr. Excitement, if you like my inspirational vitamins and jewels, please subscribe to the channel for daily Call of Duty content. I'm an old school Call of Duty commentator. I also post a lot of other games. If you like 2K, that'll be here 5 o'clock p.m. And uh, during the rest of the day, you get everything else. So the moral of the story is you just got to keep on pushing. This has been Jay's Inspirational Vitamins. Please govern yourselves accordingly. And don't let the fuck niggas win. Matter of fact, put that in. I will not let the FNs win if you made it this far. No wins for FNs. Till next time. It's your boy Jay Easy, aka Fresh from the Barbershop, BK of the People's Champ. Holla! Be 60 out this motherfucker!